Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to expand beyond the core foundation of WooCommerce. So what I mean by that is how do you go from setting up a site? Let's say, for example, that you want to sell subscriptions, a monthly subscription. You want to set up a membership site or you want to integrate with a payment processor beyond just PayPal or Stripe. So to do that, in you will need to have an extension. So to do that, what you'll need to do is go to WooCommerce.com. That's WooCommerce.com. And you'll need to go under the extensions store. Now, there are a lot of free extensions, but there are a lot that cost money. And it's easy to want to pick and choose every single one of them. But the goal here is to pick and choose what you need. So under here, you can see all new developed by Woo, which means it's actually developed by the WooCommerce team because some of these are actually programmed by third party people. We have enhancements such as cart, checkout features, merchandising, product page features, search and navigation, and international. We've got marketing, email marketing, multi-channel marketing, promotions, reporting, and social media marketing. We've got payments in terms of fraud detection, in-person payments, off-site, on-site, pre-orders, subscriptions, and more. So a lot of people tend to run subscriptions. So we have product type, shipping, store management, and subscriptions. So subscriptions has its very own category. So I'm going to open this in a brand new tab. But if we click on all, you'll be able to see all of the extensions. So as we can see here, it says Stripe, accept all major debt and credit cards. So we actually have this. And if we scroll down, we can see the most popular are subscriptions, bookings, and memberships. Now, you won't really need bookings unless you have a business model that takes in bookings, such as appointments, reservations, and more. Now, if we scroll down, we have things like Facebook. We've got Amazon Pay as a payment processor, Square, PayFast as different payment processors. We've got reporting like Google Analytics. We've got ShipStation, which is a type of software that allows you to ship out physical products and automate that whole process. So if you're dealing with physical products, you could do that. We have MailChimp. So as you can see here, there are a lot of different extensions that you can buy, but the goal here is not to get lost into them, but to figure out what you really need. So if we're trying to set up a subscription, what I would do is up at the top, I would type in subscription. Now there is already a category over here on subscriptions, but I just want to show you as an example, if you do a search, you'll get an idea of what extensions actually relate to what you want. So you can enter a different keyword that fits you. So we can see subscription downloads, newsletter subscription, Aweber, subscriptions gifting. So for example, if you want to set it up, so that people can buy like a voucher or a gift subscription and give it to somebody else. That's actually a really good idea. We've got other payment processors and we got Zapier. And we'll talk more about Zapier in the next video where we talk about automation. So Zapier is a platform that allows you to automate a lot of WooCommerce or WordPress tasks. And we'll talk more about other plugins that we have tested that work really well that fit that description. So the goal here is to figure out what I would do is go through here, figure out exactly what you need, write it down and then look at it and ask yourself, do you really need these items? Because it's really easy, as I said, to get lost in them and try to buy 10 or even 20 different extensions. So start with the basics and then branch off from there. Now, if you go under marketing, this will actually help you expand your business in terms of marketing, like social, and it'll help you get more traffic back to your e-commerce site. 
Now you can also find other WooCommerce extensions if you go to google.com and search for that. But what I would say is to try to stick with the ones here first before you try other extensions. And mainly because WooCommerce and their team, they do a really good job in terms of vetting and trying to figure out what extensions are actually legit and which ones are rated well and have provide really good customer service because to get embedded into the directory, they're not just going to accept everyone. All right. So that's the point I'm trying to make. And now you know how to expand your business by getting extensions. Let's move on to the next video and talk about WooCommerce automation.